it's easy to set up and customize search on a website in Cornerstone. Of course, if you want Google search, that's great. You can simply do it through a text view and adding standard Google search box HTML. But we also have some internal search making it slightly more integrated so that it's even easier to get going. That's not a competition to Google, but any good system should have some basic functions like search generically available and also offer up simple integration with the best of breed external systems like Google search. So here I will show how the internal search is handled. Okay, again I'm at my personal site and I will go down to my group here, my personal group, and I will go to settings. So here I choose which of my searchable articles that will be continually indexed for search. So one article module, an image module, and two more articles, no article and image modules that I have not made searchable. If you're doing this for the first time and after you've saved, you might want to press re-index now because the index is rebuilt uh, once every 24 hours and then updated, but the main index is made periodically and if you check here and save, it will not immediately be available. So after saving, if you do changes here, press re-index now. Okay, so that's the basic setup. Then we want to make a search result page. That's the first thing. So I go into design mode and I've cheated just a little bit making the page ready. So it's here down here in the menu tree, search result, but it's empty. So if you want to learn how to make a page, you need to watch another video. But here we have the page, it's completely empty apart from the menu module window that is inherited since it's, it's sticky. So I go to modules to system here, system, and search results. And I place it here. I make it visible. I go into properties and from the available modules that are being indexed, my art Anders articles and my images, I can choose which page to show articles on and for images I just link to the original since I have now no template pages ready made to show images and the same for here. So I can here choose for this specific search result which of the indexed modules will be displayed here. So you can have even though both articles and images are indexed you can have one place for article search and another place for image search by clicking just one of these options either place. But I click both. And for the layout I choose pagination both top and bottom. Results per page will be 10. Default sorting will be relevancy uh, which means something like how often you will find the word and which places the, the search word. And if you want to show sorting, I want to show sorting. And that seems to be it. So let's save. So the search result page is done. Now we need a search query. And as you see, here it is. So we need to place it somewhere good. So let's go to the front page. The search should always be readily available. So let's move the toolbox over here. And I'll take the search query and drag it over here. Let's make, configure it. Search button caption, I wanted to say search and the form text, search terms here. If I want the button on a new line, no, I don't want that, but submit the query and enter key means that you can just press enter and not having to press the button. I think that's very helpful. So. Also on the box tab here, the search results page pointing to the page we just made, the one called search results, and save. And then we have to make it visible. And then we can also want to make it sticky so that it will appear on all sub pages 
that are two colon format in this place. Okay, so let's go back to live mode here. And let's use it. When I click here, the search terms here disappears. Let's search for Miriam, my daughter. And it goes to the search result page. And here we have some pictures and some articles about me and my family that contains Miriam. I can watch the photo. Or I can go back and watch the articles that contained her. And the photos were searched due to the images being tagged. Uh, let's search for something different. This search box is everywhere now because it's sticky, so that's very convenient. Let's search for rough, which is a keyword in some of my research, rough sets. So here we got the pagination. So here we have articles and here we have images from some of my publications. Yep. And we can go back and forth. We can sort on relevance. We can sort on date. And date can be sorted both, both ways. So that's it. Set it up in group. Force the indexing if you have to. Place a search query. It's available in the toolbox under the system module. And also place a search result module window and a separate search result page and you're good to go.